Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is a little bit different. It's still VFL, but this is the VFL World Cup. So let me explain just a little bit how this works. So basically you've got two drivers who make a team uh, using the custom cars, make your own livery and stuff like that. And each team represents a country. So it can be any country, it doesn't have to be one you're from. So I'm representing Team Netherlands, because why not? And uh, my teammate is Tristian, who you all must know pretty well from a lot of the videos very quick driver so I thought I was feeling quite optimistic um, about maybe even winning this thing so this is round number one the semi-final and we've got the final which is a week after uh, both have already been both will be in this video so yeah Mexico qualifying was decent sixth place eight tenths off it's not too bad um, I've always considered it's one of my stronger tracks but maybe it might be a little bit different on this game so on the grid, is this where I made a mistake? Oh, I completely forgot the formation lap was turned off. And uh, you can just see the instant regret when I'm like, shit, formation lap is actually off. So, worst well, start possible. We're down to 12th, which is great. Just just what you want. But um, yeah, let's just say, I don't think this racing was as clean as a, a normal VFL race is, as, if that's clean anyway. Bit of contact there for the first couple of corners, that was expected. So, we've already gained a few places back going up the inside there. The T, T2 Dr. Pepper, and we're up into eighth already. So, considering we dropped back five places, like we've got he's fighting back now. The inside actually, yeah, it's Poppy up the inside, so he's now past us. Dr. Pepper up the inside, side by side, but just managed to stay in front of him for now. A little bit later on on the first lap probably going for a move down the inside of M MJG I keep trying to say MGJ which I'm not going to do and we've got a pretty good run and we're actually side by side with Poppy now going into turn one and both of us are closing on MGJ so it could be free wide going into turn one here we think about making a move down the inside we just think better of it and then we've got Dr Pepper who's around the outside now side by side with him and he's still up the inside and he's gonna we're gonna be side by side heading up into turn four maybe four or five it's one of the two it's one of the two we're gonna try hanging it around the outside we just managed to keep that for now still side by side but we come out better of this battle so still in p9 and there's Cole's epic he's is round the other way so not sure what's happened there but it's not been very good that's for sure and uh, up into P8, and then BAM! Uh, Mexico curbs, especially in this game, lethal. Absolute lethal. Don't go on them, whatever you do. So we've had to pit, obviously, because we've lost our wing. And uh, we're back down to 13th, so... Yeah, things... Things aren't going great. That's, that's, that's for sure. And then a few laps later, almost making the same mistake again, but doing some absolute Sergio Perez Spa 2018 kind of stuff there. Just keeping it out of the wall. Some yellow flags up ahead. But that doesn't matter, because we've just done it again. And damaged our wing again. At least we still got it this time though. And yeah, a lot of spinning in this. Um, I don't like these curves at all and it seems like a few other people don't like them either I'm guessing that's why there's so many yellow flags around that section but we have actually got a safety car deployed on lap 10 which we do actually come into the pits for another set of soft tyres and uh, yeah now we're back up in the fight again so it's not over yet this one it's not over yet we're still in it for sure and uh, just expect some more chaos down into turn 1 on the ERS, try not to fall back too much. No one behind us, so that's good. I'm just trying to see if there's any kind of opportunity that presents itself into the first few corners. No contact as of yet, but we are now in this battle. We're free wide now. Trying to get alongside Tom Taylor. There's a little bit of contact there, we almost get spun around. We're going to try to go around the outside of two cars, but just doesn't work out there. We back out, we're going up the inside of 
Dr. Pepper because we don't want to do that. Side by side, a little bit of content there with Ghostly Riots. And we're up into six, so we've gained a couple of places, which is nice. And then down into turn one, there's been a big, big old shunt up ahead with Poppy and Tristan, so our teammate is out. I couldn't really see see it from that perspective. I mean, if you can slow it down, you'll be able to see it. But yeah, we are kind of doing this on our own now, which isn't great. Up the inside, Dr. Pepper, we go, and then the safety car, so... If there is any such thing as a perfectly timed move, I think that must be it. Um, that is not so great. Don't do not do that. Just a little bit of a slowing down there, just as the safety car comes back in. So we're in third now. We're actually in the podium places, so... Yeah, things, things are turning around in this race. Going down into turn one. Got a battle for the lead between Tom Taylor and Taramax. Tom Taylor's trying to go around the outside. Taramax locks up a little bit, sends it a little bit deep. And we're just trying to look for some good, for a good exit coming through the chicane. We're just not able to get it yet. They're side by side again. We're just hoping there's going to be a there's going to be a door open for us on the inside, but there just isn't at the moment. And we're just better off sitting behind and uh, just keeping in third for now. Very, very deep into the hairpin. But luckily, no one is close enough behind us to go up the inside. Going down, to start finish straight again. No DRS as of yet, but a lot of flipping slipstream. Going down into turn one, Taramax trying to go around the outside now. They're so close, almost wheel bagging. And they are actually wheel bagging there. We're going to get a nice little run out of the chicane here to go alongside with Tom Taylor. And we are closing, closing, closing. We're in second place now. Trying to go around the outside of Taramax, but my thing stopped recording there, so that's great. But we are in P2, so things are looking up for us that is for sure but look behind we have MOC who is looking very very quick right now trying to go around the outside into the stadium section gets the move done off the track a little bit there but yeah I question the legality of that one but hey oh it's just a bit of fun this uh, this so all good on lap 25 boxes lap as you can see there from the N MFD up the inside, ghostly rides, wheel banging, and just way too much curb. We've lost so much time for that, and we've lost another position as well. Sky goes past, and then round the outside, we've got MJG who's overtaking us as well. And we're now down into six, so we've lost four places there. So, really, not, not a good couple of laps into the pits. We go, gonna change our front wing, and gonna change the tyres to the medium tyres, and that will be it now till the end of the race and really what we need here is another safety car that's really what we need and then bam MJG is out of the session safety car is deployed and uh, I'm actually going to come back into the pits and change back onto a new pair of soft tyres and there we go safety car back in on lap 32 we've got four laps to go to the end we've had, we've had an amazing run there out of the last corner because everyone else has been so slow we've managed to carry the momentum through we're up into fifth, and let's just try to make up some places in the final three laps of this race. Taramax again, he likes to lock up into turn one. We've seen it quite a few times this race. We're just looking for a cutback, looking for that extra bit of traction. We just can't find it at the moment. It's going down the inside of Sky. So, so close. We try to go around the outside of Taramax, but just not going to work out. He goes into the... In goes into Sky, MOC is round there, they're still side by side through the hairpin throughout, Sky gets a little bit pushed off there, and we are still maintaining 5th place, so yeah this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a crazy race at the moment, I'm just trying to see, there's some contact up ahead, and he's actually taken out Sky, so Taramax has taken out Sky. We were then locked up after getting distracted a little bit. We're now up into the podium places again. Sky is out of the race and safety car deployed again. So we did come back into the pit, so we changed changed tyres once more. D did we? Actually, I can't even remember. But anyway, here we go. Lap 35 out of 36. Ghostly right's in the lead. We are in second, weaving 
up, left and right, left and right, trying to block off the slipstream. We've got the slipstream. We've got the ERS. We're going to go round the outside into turn one. We're just not able to get the move done. And we're just trying to fend off anything from behind. We get tapped up the back. MOC just absolutely muscling his way past. It's touring car style racing in the open wheels. So, yeah, you love to see it. You love to see it. Checkered flag out. We haven't managed to catch them, but we did manage to f f cross the line in third, but unfortunately with the penalties, it will be fourth. So we finished fourth. We did get through to the final. I think we were like the fourth fourth best team to get through. So that's good. On 27 points, Israel was first with 40 points. So into the final race, we go into the final round. So this is now the final race in Portugal, and this is kind of went a little bit tits up because I don't have a teammate I'm racing on my own so I don't think we're going to be able to win this but I'm going to give it all I got and just see what I can do in the final uh, we had a wet qualifying apparently this is how you drive the track so there you go if you want to learn some racing lines there you go just uh, just look at this absolute peak performance stuff right there so we qualified fifth only about four temps off Tom Taylor which is pretty decent I'm pretty happy with that I'll take that and here we go on the grid and I'm not gonna mistake this one I'm actually gonna do this properly and there we go much better not great but much better and already oven curries had a crash <laughs> brilliant name by the way coming down in turn one going a little bit wide MSC almost runs into the side of us so quite glad actually we ran a little bit wide there up the inside his coal was epic. And we're down into six. We've got some nice traction there on the exit. Down the inside of coal was epic on the brakes. And we've actually got to outbreak someone, which hasn't really happened. Very close. We do make a bit of contact there, but we managed to keep the position. So we're up into fifth now. We're still, still in fifth where we started. And it's been a decent first few corners exactly what we needed to do and we're just gonna have to try to finish up as high as we can and just really kind of hope that um, we'll need a bit of misfortune for everyone else but behind us Cole's Epic has spun he's actually out of the session and we're gonna have a safety car already so not even a lap in and the safety car is out safety car coming back in on lap three gonna be absolutely vital here to nail a good getaway but obviously you can't overtake until the safety car line so there we go, we actually had to back off a little bit there because we was going to overtake Kofi in front of us. Down the inside goes Evan Curry, Kofi spins, he's round, we almost collect the front of him, we just managed to avoid it. Up into fourth, there's another car off there, I think it was Sky, we're up into third now. So yeah, cold tyres, turns one and two Portugal, absolute mess. I accidentally pressed the start button there which cost us a bit of time, down the inside goes goes he rides again, we're going to try to get the cut back then we realised we couldn't because we did have MJG trying to get past us there, so we had to kind of just correct our steering midway through the corner there goes he rides, he's had a spin he's gone through the fly and Ritz board he's gone flying through the fly and Ritz board, let me correct, and we're back up into third place a few laps later, MOC the leader he has spun, turned to Portugal again claiming another victim we are now up into second place strongly in the podium positions now and looking good for a good result and then one lap later turn one again it's claimed the life of Tom Taylor we are now in the lead of this race and really quite comfortably so the best thing we can do now is win this race maximum points and then we've done everything we could have done into the pits for our only pit stop of this race we're going onto the hard tyres and I think Tom Taylor up ahead is on a different strategy and what he's actually trying to do is he's trying to extend the life of the of the mediums and then pit onto the softs so there he is, he is pitting, he's out onto the softs so we're going to have to, as Fernando Alonso said, defend like a lion to make sure we can get this so yeah but he has got a three second time penalty so as long as we keep keep ourselves clean, as long as we can hold him off for a while and finish in that three second zone we will be fine we can win this race he has caught up a bit 1.4 seconds the virtual safety car is ending and he is about a second behind us now still with about six seven laps to go so we're really gonna have to push here 
as much as we can to just stay out, stay out in front as long as we can. He's only four attempts behind now. The last sector seemed to be my strongest sector of the track. So that was somewhere I was just trying to use a bit more ERS and just try to get a bit more of an advantage. I've actually slowed down trying to get DRS so off the line, off the racing line, unlike Brazil a couple of years ago, which was breaking on the line. And there we go, using all our ERS along the straights. We know he's going to have DRS, and we're just going to have to hope that it's going to be enough. And we've actually managed to get the gap out to about eight turns. And all I want to do is just stay in front of him here for as long as possible. But on lap 29, it isn't going to be possible anymore because here comes Tom Taylor down the inside. He has taken the lead from us. We are down into B2. Only about four or five laps to go. And now we just have to make sure we stay within that three seconds and we can still win this race. So there we go. We've got DRS using some ERS as well. We haven't got a lot of it left though. And we're going to try going around the outside of the hairpin, just not going to be possible. We try to get some better traction on the exit, which we do to be fair. And actually, the tyre disadvantage wasn't as much of a disadvantage as I thought it was going to be. And as you can see, on the last lap now, Tom Taylor's tyres are going off. We have DRS, we have ERS, the last lap of the race. Let's get ready for an ultimate battle here for the win. Trying to go down the inside, but we just don't trust the grip through that corner and we want the DRS, we want the DRS down the second activation zone, we are so close behind now, in touching distance of Tom Taylor, we get a better exit much better traction, using DRS using ERS, trying to go up the inside but he's just got a bit more straight line speed than us we try to get him on the brakes as we just try we make a little bit of contact there on the exit, locking wheels and we're, we're on the outside through the fast right hander, we're just going to back out over there Try to go up the inside. He's then blocked us. We're going to try to get a better tra better run through this next corner. We are tapping him. We are literally touching Tom Taylor, which sounds absolutely dreadful. And I'm so sorry I said that. And we're going to try to scare him here. We'll move down the inside. We're not actually going to do that. We're just trying to put him offline a little bit. But it hasn't really worked there. He's just absorbing the pressure like a sponge. He's off the track there. So he's maybe feeling a little bit. We're trying to go up the inside. Just not enough room to get it done there. And with only a few corners left to go. This is going to be absolutely insane. Battle to the line. We're up the inside. We're going to use the ERS. All of it we have left. We have got the inside line. Go around the last corner. We are side by side. Going across the line. We are going to have DRS. Who is going to get in front? Tom Taylor is just edging in front. There's not going to be enough time. And it's P2 across the line for us, but it is P1 with that penalty applied, and oh my god, what a battle, what a final lap battle, I've never had anything like that, that close, so yeah, credit where credit is due to Tom Taylor, that was, that was awesome, probably the best bit of racing I've ever had, so yeah, so there we go, we've won second league race win this week, so brilliant, doesn't get much better than that, that's for sure. We didn't win the World Cup, unfortunately, because obviously it was just us. So congrats to Tom and MJG for winning that. But yeah, awesome race. And uh, it would have been nice to get him across the line. But you know what? Win is a win and I will take it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please hit the like button and I'll see you next time.